Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for episode 2 of Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode, we started the game off and we crash landed on this strange planet where we met the Red Pikmin and found our engine to get our ship going again. In this episode, we're going to head over to the Forest of Hope, where there are many, many parts here and many enemies. So let's head on down to get this shindig a rolling. The Forest of Hope. Sorry, my voice is really screwed up. I've been talking a lot lately and really busy, and I'm losing my voice a little, so sorry if it's a little rough. I'm going to talk a little quieter and softer. Well, until something stupid happens, and I'll probably start screaming my head off, but we'll see what happens. Um, Alright, so they're going to tell us, they're going to explain to us a few things. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need, okay. So all you need to do to get the Pikmin back out is go under here and hit A and take them all out. You can only have a hundred out on the field at a time. Uh, that won't be an issue till later. You don't get a hundred until a bit later in the game, but you get there and well, you just don't get to carry a hundred, unfortunately. Um, it and it also looks like we don't get to find too many. Oh, okay. So ah, uh, come over here. Hey. So over here we have something important. Uh, we have this syrupy substance, and basically, or nectar actually is what it is. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and per uh, peculiar uh, peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. So basically, when uh, they become more pure of Pikmin, I guess. Aw, oh, man, I have, one, I have some leaf ones left. And um, basically the way it works is when you have Pikmin like this, they're stronger, they're faster, they can carry stuff quicker. They're basically just all around better versions of Pikmin. So I recommend that any time you can, you get all your Pikmin to be flowers. Just so that tasks are done faster and uh, enemies are brought down easier. I'm going to bring my camera down a bit because... Ah, oh, crap, sorry. I'm still not really used to the... There we go. I'm not really used to these new controls, but I think I'll get it eventually. So this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about a few things. Um, in case you didn't know, the YouTube subscription boxes have been screwed. Oh, hey, what are you doing over here? Get over there. The YouTube subscription boxes have been very screwed up lately, and um, basically they don't show when a video is uploaded, and it's been, they have been having an issue for everyone. I think I was able to get it to work right with this one. You can do uh, you can do planned posting, so you can decide what to post like later in the day. I don't know if anyone can do that or if that's just a partner benefit, but I know I could never do that before as a partner. And someone told me that if you do that, it actually shows the video. So that's how I'm posting this one. And uh, I'll probably post links for the last two Animal Crossing episodes down below, just because if you didn't see it, now you can see it. Also, the Steve the Pikmin thing, as much as I personally enjoyed Chugga Conroy's Pikmin LP, I really, really would appreciate if we didn't just keep... <laughs> there, okay, cool. So they finished the fence. It should, it should never take too long. Uh, but I'd appreciate if we kind of held back on all the Chugga references, just because this is my LP, you know? I don't want to just be con constantly reminded that someone way better than me has already done it. Alright, so these are the first enemies of the game, the spotty bulborbs, and they're the little, uh, some of the weaker enemies in the game, but they can still uh, attack. Uh, they do an eating move where they eat one of your Pikmin, but if you throw them on top, it's an instant kill. Like so. And uh, when you kill them, you carry them back to the ship along with the pellet that they normally drop, and you can get uh, quite a few Pikmin from killing them. Um, the other thing they do is when you hit them, oh, yeah, see, so they'll try and take a chomp out of your Pikmin, but as long as you throw them on top, you should kill them no problem. But when you kill them close to, let's see, so over here we see a big one. If you kill them close to that, they'll let out a cry that'll bring out the mommy one, or daddy one, or whichever. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. So, I recommend killing them quickly so that A, they don't pose much a threat to you, and B, they don't call their parent to come murder you. Um, so let's see, how many do we have on us? Okay, cool, so we are able to carry that. So we have a 10, I think those are worth 3. Those are worth 1 since it's a different color. Uh, okay, so we're gonna send you here. Well, no, actually, we can just send you to get this. Um, oh, and also now uh, that we're in the official game, you can see at the top we have a, a timer till the end of the day. So basically our goal is to get everything we can get done 
done in before the day is over. Like he said, we have 30 days. Uh, if you get a day apart, I mean, uh, part a day, you're good. Some parts might take more than one day. However, there will also be a lot of days where you get multiple parts in one day. So that's always good, especially in this first level. You can get like at least three or four parts in one day. Okay, maybe not that many. Um, this isn't going to be one of those days. This is going to be a growth day. Um, there, will, there, will, there will be several growth days through this playthrough where I just spend a lot of time trying to find Pikmin and growing my numbers. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be at 50 now, I believe, which is good. It's good to have about 50. And uh, then we'll go take on that giant Bulborb, and we will go and um, knock down that gate. But before we do that, we should try and get some nectar into these new leaf Pikmin. So I hope most of you guys don't mind this LP, I mean, I know I got like six dislikes, and I don't know if you guys hate Pikmin, or if you don't like that I'm doing Pikmin, but I mean, if you're a subscriber and you're disliking my videos, like, doesn't that seem a little harsh? I mean, if you have something to say or cr criticism about my choice, then give me criticism, but don't just dislike the video, you know, I mean, if you're a true subscriber and you actually enjoy my stuff. It just seems kind of weird to dislike it for nothing, but I, I mean, I'm sure you have your reasons, so... Haters gonna hate, I guess. Okay, so try and get as much nectar into these guys as you can, just to make the day easier. Uh, you're not always gonna get full nectar, but you can get close. See, there's quite a bit here. And I'm pretty sure the nectar resets every day, so... You always get more opportunities. Oh, cool, we got all leaf. So we have 52... or, um, flower. We got all 52 leaf Pikmin to turn into flowers. And uh, now we're going to take this guy on. Now he obviously has a lot more health. What the hell is that noise? Or is that him sleeping? I don't think I've ever heard that before. So what you want to do is you want to sneak behind him. These guys will actually like take down your Pikmin. And what you want to do is you want to get right behind them while they're asleep. And just start tossing them on their backs. So you want to start keep just tossing them as fast as you can. So that they can't... And yeah, they're going to shake them off. And then they're going to try and bite ahead. So if you attack from the front, what'll basically happen is they will um, shake the Pikmin off and eat them, which is always bad. Um, but if you go from behind, they'll just shake them off and try to regain composure from being attacked and inevitably get killed. Uh, the only downside is when they do get shaked off, when they get shook, off, they get shaked off, when they get shook off the Pikmin. Uh, they do sometimes lose their flower. They'll either get downgraded to a bulb, or I think they can even get downgraded as low as a whole to a whole leaf. But I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think they. Did. No, I think it's just bulb because I only see bulbs. Um. So for now, we're gonna bring these guys over here. We don't necessarily need all 67 Pikmin right now, so we're gonna get these guys to come over here to work on this. And we'll let, um, the other way you can get flower Pikmin is if you just let them stay in the ground and let them grow. Uh, I'm not sure how long it takes. I think it takes three time units. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention. Okay. So basically, he's explaining the sun monitor. I can press Z to rotate the camera. Okay. But yeah, as long as you, by noon, you should be getting near what you were trying to do. Like I said, this is a growth day. I'll probably only get one part uh, for now. Uh, <clears throat> and that'll be this one. I think it takes 50 to carry, but I'm also going to attack these guys right over here. So this is going to be an example of what happens when you attack a baby right by the parent. So we kill him. Oh, actually, yep, see, I thought, well, kind of already attracted him anyway. But when they die, they leave out a cry. You know, I'm starting to realize, I think they added new sounds to the new Wii version. Because when the little bulb orbs die, they let out, like, a really loud shriek. Ah, yeah, see, they're squeaking. They normally... Go! I can't even do the sound, but they make a weird sound. That's weird. Huh, I don't know. If you know anything about that, um, post in the comments. I'll probably look it up anyway, but... Okay, this is kind of getting annoying. I feel like I can't throw them nearly as fast in this version. Oh, did someone die? Yeah, we lost one. And we lost more. Seriously. Come on. We lost three Pikmin. I guess that's not that bad. I'm not used to the Wiimote controls. I'm not trying to make excuses. Actually, no, 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 no. Don't take that one. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send the rest. I think we only need 50 to carry this. If we need 60, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to have to go back and get them. Why? It's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has an ultimate, uh, unlimited power energy, uh, energy supply. It won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. 
Not really. Nothing makes your survive. Oh, sweet. We have enough. Okay, so I'm just going to send all the reds uh, to carry that back to base. And we're going to focus on something really important on this day, and that is finding the new Pikmin. So if you come right over here, you see another onion, an un and it turns yellow, bright yellow, and knocks us on our keister again. Well, not this time. We actually dodged it that time. Bleep, boop. I love the music in this game. The sound design's great. All right, so now we have this new color. And uh, as you can see down here, we're going to wait for this to hatch. Or not hatch. We're going to wait for it to grow. And we pull it out. Oh, and what do you know? We have a yellow pi Oh, that was weird. The rock is in the way. But yeah, we have this yellow Pikmin with the cool ears. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests that this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe it more closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with A, swap it with another by pressing B. So that's a pretty good skill to have, especially when you're trying to use yellows, because yellows fly a lot farther. So sometimes you'll need to throw farther and higher some parts you can... Oh, okay, cool, they delivered the piece. It always catches me off guard when they get it there, but and I always forget because I'm distracted by whatever else I'm doing. Eternal Fuel Dynamo, this should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I can just find three more, I could, uh, should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. And uh, for the most part, I'm going to try and do every single piece that I can do without... Uh, without the other Pikmin. So, there is one other type of Pikmin. I'm not going to get into, oh, technically two. I'm not going to get into that now, but I will get all the parts I can get with just red and yellow, and then I will go back, I'll go on to the new level, and so on and so forth. So, I will always go as far as I possibly can before I go to the next level. Whereas, normally when I play this game, I just jump around whenever I feel like it. Like, I'll get sick of one level, so I'll go to another level, and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so now we're harvesting yellows, and on this first day, it's really important. Uh, you should leave this here. So you can get as many yellow Pikmin as you can, and then you can harvest that for the yellows instead of, you know, struggling to find stuff for the yellows. So we're going to pull these out. <clears throat> I really am sorry about my voice, guys. I don't know if it sounds as bad as I think it does, but it's kind of hard, and I can't really talk very loud, so I apologize for the quiet commentary. But, you know, Pikmin's more of a quiet game to begin with, so I don't really mind as much. I don't know if you guys mind, though. Okay, so we have... How do we end up with nine? Seems a little weird of a number. Okay, so we're gonna take this guy right here. Oh, another thing, when you leave your Pikmin, like if you leave them inactive around, they will get left behind and be killed because of the evil creatures of the night. And, uh, but if you have them near the onion, so like right now, if I never go back to the red Pikmin, since they are near the ship, they'd be fine. Um, but uh, yeah, if they're near the onion or they're near the base area in general, they'll obviously go to the ship. So it should never be a problem. Um, also, there's these bomb rocks right here, which only the yellow Pikmin can use in addition to being able to fly farther. Uh, and they use those to take down the stone walls like that. And uh, I'm going to try... Eh, yeah, I can probably get that done before the day's over. And basically, the way that works is you throw them at the wall with the bomb rock, and then you call them back, and they throw the bomb. Or sometimes they'll throw them automatically at enemies. It all really depends. Um, sometimes they can be a little frustrating because you can accidentally have enemies, or you can accidentally have them bring it back to base, or you can bring, have, they bring the bomb, blah, 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 I can't talk, they'll bring the bomb rock back to your group and kill everyone. The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps there, these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. So basically what you want to do, um, you never want to try and call them back while they're standing away. And you can technically beat this wall down, but it takes a lot of time. So I recommend always using bomb rocks, unless you have a big waste of a day, I guess. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them, but they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block pathways. I must be vigilant. When I throw bomb rocks carrying Pikmin and give them orders, they will toss their bomb rocks at nearby walls or obstacles. Okay, so basically he's just explaining what I explained to you. You call them back, or they'll drop it automatically. They'll just know that it's a, uh, a stone wall. 
Um, also, when you mentioned that you can uh, switch between Pikmin, you can also switch between uh, Bomb Rock Holding Pikmin and Non-Bomb Rock Holding Pikmin, so that's always good. Um, so it looks like we've harvested, uh, I don't know, about 30 Yellow Pikmin, which is good. Um, I guess I could have harvested more, but I'm happy with 30 for now. Uh, yellow Pikmin will probably be the least... Oh, I guess only 29. Your least frequently used, and if you don't always have tons of them, it's not that big a deal. Um, I personally really enjoy the Yellow Pikmin. Um, I don't know why. I just like that they can fly higher, but sometimes that can be difficult. That can cause difficulties for trying to, you know, throw enemies or throw them at enemies and stuff like. I can't tell many, how you how many times I've thrown pi Yellow Pikmin over the giant bulb orbs and they've just gotten eaten up. So sometimes it can be a little difficult, but eh, eh, not too big of a deal. Um, actually, I think maybe we can bring down this wall real quick. That's, oh, never mind, that's not going to happen. Don't drop the roll, oh god, I thought they are going to drop the bomb rock. Uh, my clock is indicating the approach of sunset, okay. Um, that was basically just explaining what you do at sunset. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the yellow Pikmin at the onion. Um, they'll, uh, they'll go up here, but they'll follow us still. And when you put the ones with bomb rocks, they just leave them behind. Uh, the bomb rocks reset every day, so it really doesn't matter if you use them or not. And I'm actually going to go back to red base, or main base, I guess, not really red base, um, <clears throat> to end the day. And uh, you can always end the day early, I guess I should mention this, uh, go to sunset, or continue from previous save. Also, this is a map, uh, or will be a map, spoiler alert, uh, but we'll get into that later. It becomes very useful, though, so don't ever... <gasps> what are you doing? You are just out here on your own. Ah, you could have been killed. I was so worried about you. I was so worried that I didn't even know you were gone. That's how freaking... Oh, yeah, they're all flowers, see? Oh, pick them fast, pick them fast. I don't really like leaving them in the grass, but... What the hell? What the hell? What was that sound? What the fuck was that? What was that? Did you guys hear that sound? Wait, where's the other... Wait, where's the rest? Where's up to my Pikmin? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Did I just leave a bunch behind? Did you guys hear that sound, though? I don't know what that was. I'm telling you, the sounds are different in this game compared to the original GameCube one. And I don't know why they're doing that, but it's just freaking me out, because that sound is really freaky. Did I seriously leave ten behind just now? Because that would really suck if I started off this LP by leaving ten behind. Um, let's see. They'll be... We'll see them if I do. Nope, I guess I didn't. So I don't know. I have no idea why it said that I was missing some. They might have just been somewhere else. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'd only need to press plus to locate my parts. Yet, there seems to be many hostile life forms here. If I am attacked and my su spacesuit uh, takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter. Okay. So yeah, you can get damaged, and if you go back to the ship, you basically heal. So we uh, sprouted 79, we lost 3 in battle, we now have 100 Pikmin, so we can have the total amount on the field. Or, I'm sorry, that's just totally sprouted. I'm an idiot. Um, our, our population's 87. Uh, we didn't leave any behind. We now have 54 red and 33 yellow. Found another part and have 28 remaining. So, guys, that's going to be all for this episode. I'm probably just going to do a day an episode, if that's okay with you guys. Um, it's, I mean, it's fine with me. I mean, that makes it just easier to break up. I mean, it's almost always going to be about this length of episodes. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment below. Favorite this video. Favorite goes a very long way. Uh, like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Uh, have a great one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. See ya. <laughs>